We've got the March and April Bank and Creek kit stuffed with awesome custom soft plastic lures with terminal to match. Absolutely zero shot was I letting Dustin come out here and do this. I couldn't wait to get my hands on this thing. Let's go catch some fish. The first custom soft plastic we're going to be using today is the three inch Yum Scottsboro in the custom color Siren paired with the GLF Sneaky Underspin. This color Siren is absolutely a beautiful color. You got your pro blue belly with your green pumpkin back with black fleck and really dark purple fleck on top of that back and then back to the belly you got like this light blue light purpley silver fleck in there and it just it just looks beautiful in the water. This is a very versatile little combination we got going on here with the sneaky underspin and the Scots bro. Like right now, for instance, we're fishing a small body of water. We're fishing a pretty small pond. I felt like that full three inch Scottsboro was just a little much. Might have been a little intimidating. So I bit the head off of it, took it down about an inch and threw it back out here. Now it looks tiny, it looks compact. I feel like it looks welcoming. Like them fish are just gonna see this thing and wanna swallow it whole. That's not the best thing about this. So the best thing about it is how many different scenarios it covers. For instance, you could slow roll it on the bottom and fish are being a little bit more finicky. You gotta sneak it by them, you know, with your sneaky underspin. But them fish are active. You got a warm day like today. You kinda wanna, you kinda wanna speed it up. You wanna stay in that middle water column to about the top water column and just fling, just fly this thing right by their head. See if you don't get bit. Another cool tactic to use the Scottsboro for is throw it out there, let it sink to the bottom and with them blades, pop it. Almost think of like a, a jigging spoon or something, but you're shallow. You want to pop it. Make it look like a dead bait fish on the bottom, just struggling. Easy meal, easy fish catch. One of my favorite things about the sneaky underspin is it's not as intrusive as a spinner bait. Like it's just not as big and bulky and thumpy and hence the name. Oh, <laughs> hence the name sneaky underspin. I just snuck it right by this little buddy. Time that drag. <laughs> oh my god seriously just so much fun out here oh there's another bass with them <laughs> Woo! Woo i'll go down here and get him so the thorns down there broke my line after i got the fish out of the water but i was still able to get them beautiful it's a beautiful fish we're going to move on to the next custom plastic in the kit since mother nature has decided to cut the sneaky underspin off we went ahead and put on the yum pulse it's three and a half inches in the custom color Tommy gun. You're gonna pair the Yum Pulse up with the Mobster Swim Jig, which is in the exact same color Tommy gun. This is a awesome little bluegill imitator and it is a fish catching machine. It's really good around grass. Like I, I love swimming the swim jig through grass, but you could throw this thing anywhere and work it any kind of way. I mean, you could burn that thing. Like you just run it, like you're swimming, you know, your typical spinner bait, even like the sneaky underspin. You put it on the bottom, crawl it on bottom, pop it like a regular jig. I mean, it's all up to you. It's got a weed guard on it. So don't be scared to just throw it up in some froggy activity and see what lives in there. This color Tommy gun, I, I can't, I mean, I can't express how pretty this thing is enough. On the actual Yum Pulse itself, you have a super light green belly with the dark green back with black fleck in it. There's some red mixed in there, you know, some bluegill colors. On the Mobster, there's a lot of orange under the head with white that leads up to the top of the head, which is that same dark green, green pumpkin that matches perfectly with your Yum Pulse. And then your skirt has some white, some clear in there, some orange, some green, some black. It's got it all, man. It all matches up perfectly. See if we can't get that one fish that followed that sneaky underspin in to bite this dude right here. Give him a little something different to look at. Oh, we got him. <laughs> I was throwing around over there where I seen that other fish chasing the sneaky underspin. Whoa, he's going way against the bank. Way against the bank. Uh, there's a whole bunch of grass and thorns. and I'd really like for my line to not get cut off. This is a, whoa, this is a hefty boy. Hefty boy wanted a hefty meal. We sure gave it to him. Let's go, let's go get this fish. Ooh there he is. He's hung down there in the grass. Let's see if we cannot go for a swim today. Oh yeah. <laughs> Look at that one. Wow, pretty. Pretty. Let's get her up here. She thought she's gonna do me like the last one and break me off in the grass. Nah. No, look at this beautiful fish. That is a hog, hog bait for a hog fish. Tommy gun. Mm. 
All right, guys, we got the Yum two and a half inch crawl bug, native crawl, and we got it paired up with our GLF mini tube heads. Let's go catch. It started raining a little bit, but that's all good. It's all good. Fish are still in the pond. This is a really cool combination because that GLF mini tube head fits perfect in this hollow crawl bug. You slide it from the front to the back. Then you're gonna poke where your line ties at out the back end of the crawl and then you're just gonna tie, you know, just tie on. So let's break down this natural crawl real quick, it's color pattern. So it has a very light brown, very tannish belly on it with red flake. Big old chunky black fleck in there too, but on the very top it's just this really dark rustic brown. Almost translucent in some spots, and I mean, dude, this is like as just natural as it gets, man. Just old natural brown crawl. One of the coolest things about this is, I mean, it just... It just shouts, I'm a crawdad, because, well, it looks just like a crawdad. So how are you going to fish it? Just like a crawdad. You want it to hit the bottom of the water, just kind of pop it back and forth. Pop it up and down. Make sure it's coming up off the bottom just a little bit and landing back, just like a crawfish would. If you want to work it a little faster, though, you know, just think about how that crawfish swims through that water. You sit there and pop it. And you're going to, I mean, you're going to full of fish. It looks just like a crawdad. Oh, we got him! <laughs> oh, man, that's seriously, that's seriously just so much fun. Come on, baby. Ooh -wee. Go ahead and flip you up here. Yeah! Yeah! Native crawl gets her done. Native crawl just gets the job done. I mean, come on. It's just a natural crawl dead, man. You just figure out how to work that dude, make sure it's looking right in the water, and you're gonna catch fish on it. All right, guys, our next combination's really colorful. We got green clown and the yum helgramite. It's a laminate, so it has a super dark green back, but a light green belly. And then it has orange, purple, and a really light green fleck in there, and we're gonna be throwing it on the yum Ned head. Something really cool about the yum helgramite is it has a bunch of appendages on it. So you can really make this thing any size you want. Like, for instance, eh, I think we're a little long, so I'm just gonna rip the head off. Boom, easy, easy does it. It still looks the same. You still got a Helgramite and it's smaller. Cool little tip about these laminates to help you be just a little more dialed in is you want the dark end up. Like you want its belly to be the lighter color. For instance, think about it. You catch a fish out of the pond, you pull a bass out. That back end is always darker. You know, it's, I mean, think about it as sun tanning. Like you want it to look realistic. You want that darker end to be up. This Helgramite, all I'm doing is I'm casting it right out here, way out in the open. And all I'm doing is popping it right back to me just to retrieve every every few seconds, a little drag, a little pop, a little drag, a little pop, a little drag, a little pop. Oh, we got him. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I was just about to bring my bait back in, man. I was like, I'm going to give it one more little drag and one more little pop. And boom, we drag and popped him all right. Oh. And for the grand finale, the perfect I need to catch a fish bait is the five inch yum dinger in Amber Knight Wacky Rig. We have Pro X Wacky Rig hooks on here, but let's talk about this Amber Knight color real quick. This is a laminate, but what's cool about this laminate is it's not the same color. It's not just darker and lighter. It's actually two entirely different colors. It has a June bug, like a really dark blue top with like light blue fleck in it. But then the bottom half is this brown, orangey, lighter half, and it has like yellow, orangey fleck in it. So all you're going to do with this thing is take it, cast it, throw it in your most confident area. Personally, I'm a corner guy. I love the corners of ponds. I just feel like I catch a lot of fish in the corners of ponds. I've, I like to cast parallel to the banks, corners of ponds. That's where I'm throwing this yum dinger. Now, don't get me wrong, you can fling it out there in the middle, but I like throwing it where I've already fished. Especially if I'm fishing baits that are moving. Like, for instance, this bank behind us, I completely hammered out with the sneaky underspin and the mobster swim jig. Well, those are fast moving baits. So all I'm gonna do now is take this yum dinger and throw it around in the same areas. And all those fish that didn't want them fast moving baits are gonna want this dinger. One of my favorite things about the Banking Creek Tackle Kit is you can go out there one pole, one kit, catch fish, cover all the bases. Now, you might notice, I don't have the same pole saying that. Well, I had some technical difficulties earlier. Let's just say I played a stupid game and won a stupid prize and I broke my reel off. So I had to go get another one. No shot, no shot, dude. I just, I just come over here. I left my dinger in the water. I come over here to mess with the camera and this freaking fish ate it, dude. Freaking fish ate it. I didn't even try for this. I've almost feel like I'm cheating. I just picked it up. I just picked it up on my rod and look at this. <laughs> he wanted it, man. That's what that means. I didn't have to work it. He just wanted it. 
Oh, <laughs> yeah, dude. Guys, seriously, I cannot stress enough. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, guys. I seriously cannot describe how much fun today has been. Guys, I encourage you, get on LureNet.com and get yourself a Banking Creek kit. And if you don't want just one and you want them all, you can subscribe. Sign up for the subscription and get you some.